So this is 68 grain Frontier uh, by Hornady and it's a uh, boat tail hollow point. All right, I just uh, set up the target at 100 yards, and I want to shoot the uh, Ruger 5.56 using this uh, Frontier Hornady uh, 68 grain 223. I just want to see how it groups, and if I'm close to being on target. Ready, firing. All right, I gotta walk down there and get a closer look at it. All right, well, this is my five shot group. I am two inches high and I'm one inch to the right. That is five rounds right there. And uh, looks like I pulled one a little left, but that group right there, <laughs> it's hard to do it with my thumb. That's right at a one inch group. Maybe, maybe three quarters of an inch. I'll take it back up there and uh, put a little tape measure on it. But that is it. I may, uh, I may make an adjustment of four clicks to the left. See if I can't center it up a little bit. The two inches high is fine. Uh, but the main thing was I wanted to see how it grouped. And that gun right there, just, I mean, it's nothing but a stock Ruger 1022, uh, not a 1022, I'm sorry, just a stock Ruger American in 5.56. It's the ranch model. I haven't done anything to it uh, other than put a scope on it. And this is what I'm getting at 100 yards. And this is the 5.56. So let me take it back up there and we'll put a little ruler on it. Well, what I did is I walked back up there and got the ruler. I think I'm gonna move it left and then shoot again, but I'll probably shoot at one of the smaller dots. But for now, if I'm to split that, you're looking at a half inch group. The easiest way I found to measure it is if you measure 
the inside edge of that one to the outside edge of the other one. Let's put it on zero. You've got, I'm going to say, just under three quarters of an inch. It's more than a half inch. But still, it's, it's under an inch. Again, if I could try splitting it, but I found just getting on that inside edge of that one and going to the outside edge of your furthest one takes out the 22 diameter. So that's right at, or just under three quarters of an inch. Uh, I'll probably measure it, take it off and take it home and measure it. All right, I'm gonna shoot again. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the left lower target, left lower corner. I'm just gonna shoot three rounds. I made my four clicks. All right, getting ready to fire. All right. I have to walk down there to see. I can't see it from here. All right, this group wasn't near as impressive because I've got one way down here on the dot, which I don't know what happened there. But the other two are up and they're to the left by a half inch. So I'm gonna move it back maybe one click to the right and leave it there for now. I gotta get out of here because uh, it's about to rain and it's gonna be raining for a few days. So I need to pack up and go, but this is it. I'll take this target to the house and put some calipers on it to see what we got. All right.